Hello, my name is Joseph Dahabi. I'm an associate professor of biochemistry and genomics at California North State University College of Medicine. The title of this paper is Micrornas circulate in the hemolymph of Drosophila and accumulate relative to tissue microRNAs in an age-dependent manner. This work is about extracellular microRNAs. These are microRNAs that are found in a variety of body fluids, including serum, plasma, saliva, urine, breast milk, but they are also found in pathological samples, such as acidic fluid and pleural effusions. Because these microRNAs are present outside the cell, they are believed to play a role in intercellular communication and signaling. And they are now being developed as non-invasive diagnostic biomarkers and also as therapeutic agents, especially in the cancer field. Our work here introduces the latest biofluid in which these microRNAs are being discovered. This fluid is hemolymph in fruit flies which is the equivalent of blood in vertebrates. Hemolymph circulates in direct contact in the fly's internal organs. We first observed microRNAs in hemolymph using the PCR technique. We also showed that microRNAs circulate in hemolymph in a stable form, protected from nuclease. But we used the deep sequencing technology to further study these hemolymph microRNAs. In our experiment, we included two age groups, young and old flies. We used aging here as a physiological model. Our deep sequencing results indicate that specific microRNAs accumulate in hemolymph relatively to the tissues, and we also found that this enrichment of microRNAs in hemolymph is age dependent. We also used an integrative analysis of tissue mRNA and computational predictions of the genes that are potentially targeted by hemolymph microRNAs, and we identified three groups of genes. In the first group, the genes are potentially down regulated by the microRNAs that accumulate in the hemolymph of young flies. The second group is made of genes that are potentially down-regulated by microRNAs that accumulate in old flies. And finally, the third group is made of genes that did not change with age and are predicted to be targets of microRNA that accumulate in hemolymph independently of age. We also performed a functional analysis of these three groups of genes and found that these genes are associated with various aging processes and also with age-related diseases. In conclusion, since Drosophila is a good system used to investigate human diseases, we believe that our discovery of microRNAs in hemolymph will provide a new tool for disease research. Thank you.